getting up this morning thinking, you know what, beautiful sunny day and the garden season has started, let's get your fat ass out there and do something. And then all of a sudden I did go outside and it was about two degrees and the wind was just, you know, incredible. So you go, no, nothing. I'm not gonna go out there for a month of Sundays. So anyway, so we're gonna be doing something indoors today is I make willow water. Why willow water, you ask? You probably actually ask me, what the fuck is he talking about? Anyway, willow water, willow. What willow water? <laughs> it's water made out of willows. Willow has a lot of growth. <laughs> willow has a lot of growth hormones in it so obviously it would be a great idea to extract the growth hormone into water which then can be used for other cuttings Ta -da! this is the reason why look i put this stick of a twisted willow into you know a well vase well what three and a half weeks ago mm -hmm. and look these are the roots it has grown so far Bless you, Mason. And also, these are the branches that have grown. I can't take it out right now because obviously it's still a little bit too cold, but soon it will go into the ground and then it will become a massive tree in years to come. However, so as you can see, you know, you just take a branch of willow, any kind of willow, dump it in some water or just stick it into the ground and keep it moist and then it will become its own tree. Another advantage of willow water is that it protects the new cuttings from fungi, bacteria, and other infectious diseases. And it promotes root growth. Perfect. I mean, obviously you could go outside and buy yourself, you know, hormone powder and stuff like that, you know. But in the days when everybody has to self-isolate or hibernate or whatever because of Corona, you know what, let's just use the stuff we can have. Let's just use the stuff we can have. Let's just use the stuff we have in the garden to make our own hormones. The willow tree has two acids in them, which really I cannot pronounce, so I'm not even going to try, but... You know, basically we call them growth hormones. When I say we, we I'm talking humanity, not just like sort of, you know, some sort of secret society we have. Anyway. The willow. <laughs> exactly, the willow society. That makes water that will grow breasts like trees. No, it doesn't. <laughs> we don't shake hands anymore. You're not allowed to do that anymore. No, let's do diseases, it. diseases. Oh, I've got an itchy shoulder. Bam. Bam. Anyway, let's go outside and get some willow. Let's. let's. Let's fly outside. <laughs> oh, whoosh. Anyway, let's go outside and get some cuttings. I'm always in my garden right now and actually you know, looking around, fuck, there is a lot to do. Anyway, so like I said, today is going to be willow water and I'm going to use pussy willow to make the water with. Let's get some cuttings. The point is here, get young cuttings. So get last year's growth because I mean, obviously it hasn't grown that much this year. But yeah, so I'm going to be doing that. So back inside, so the first thing you're gonna to have to remove is all the leaves and all the pussies because we don't wanna have that in the water. So you just rip all the pussies off. Leaves we don't actually have right now because it's the beginning of spring and obviously you don't have leaves then. They're just starting to, oh here they are. They're just starting to come in. But anyway, so all the other stuff needs to go. I know some people, they leave every single thing on, they leave the leaves on and all that sort of stuff, and you know what? They're wrong. They need to be taken off. So, just listen to me, don't listen to them, because I'm right and they're wrong. The next stage is, get jars. I've just, I'm just taking these old, whatever jars they are. I think this had cherries in it, and this one had gherkins or something like that in it. But anyway, you can use mason jars if you want to be you know, all fancy about the whole thing, or if you have them flying around the house. Personally, I don't. All we do now, we just cut them into, oh, uh, leave. Into, I don't know, what's this, Jane? Huh? A few centimeters? Stick. It's a, I know it's a stick. Two into what? What is it, like two inches? What is two inches? Yeah, that's about two inches. Is that two inches? Okay, so we cut them like this. This is about apparently two inches. This is, I would it say, what, like five, six centimeters? She would change that. Anyway, so all we do now, all we do now is cut them. So all there is to do now, twigs in a glass. Could have cut them a little bit shorter. So you go back to it and cut them a little bit shorter because the jars are kind of crap. 
So I'm cutting them into pieces like this now. Maybe this is something you should do before you actually start cutting the first time. Figure out how short or how long they should be based upon the jar you have. All you do now, have this, and fill it up to about here with boiling water. That's it. And then you close it, let it sit for, what, 24, 48 hours? And what it should look like, it should look like weak tea. And then all you do, I mean, like, okay. <laughs> well, you can drink it and have a look whether you grow. Maybe I should, maybe my parents should have done that when I was little, and I wouldn't be so bloody short. Anyway, what I'm doing now is getting some more water. Put it on the boil and then pour it in there. So I'll show you that. And that's how easy it is to make willow water. And by the way, to the people that have been watching a few of my other videos, they tend to start in the kitchen and a voila, new kitchen. It took a while, but it's there now. Huh? I said voila. Is it, what is it, what is it? Voila. 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 Isn't that what I said? Voila. A voila, fucking hell. <laughs> anyway, ta-da, kitchen. Is that better? No. See, the whole French thing is clearly working for me. And Jane, on the other hand, speaks French. Huh? Tall French. School French! <laughs> but she doesn't speak proper English because I can't understand her. Kettle takes a lot longer to boil than I thought. And that's willow water. That's how easy it is. How long do you have to steep it before you can use it? As I said, if you would have paid attention, 24 to 48 hours. Okay. It should and look like we shh shh shh. Huh? Yes, of course you can use it. It should look like weak tea. I mean, obviously, I haven't got one. I said, oh, this is what I meant earlier. I haven't got one. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you have to come back to I'm just going to have to. Next, so you're going to do... TV show. Uh, yeah. Oh, itchy. For the next video. Anyway, let me just put the water in. Well, I'm not going to hold the jar in my hand while I'm pouring the water in. That would be very stupid. And we have water. Well, we will have. And this is basically all you do. That's it. Cut the willow, rip off the pussies, all the leaves, whatever you have on them, cut them up into tiny little pieces, put them into boiling water, let it sit for 24 to 48 hours until it looks like weak tea, and then put your cuttings into it. And that's it. So what it comes down to, this video could have basically been about 30 seconds long, but I decided to make it longer. You know, usually when I do these sort of things, I listen to a lot of music, but I'm not allowed to do that for the simple reason because of, you know. Annoying everybody else in the house. No, not annoying everybody else in the house. I don't really care about everybody else in the house, but it's because of copyright infringements. Infringements. Anyway, I'm done now. You know what? I'm done. You know how to make willow water. Have fun. Grow things.